Uh-oh. That senator behind that anti-loop bill, he got exposed courtesy of Carter Coup. Jason Schreier at it again, man. Hey, let's get into it. What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Hey, yo, can you do me a huge favor? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Then rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. All right, y'all, let's just get into it. Okay, so for those of you that don't understand what's going on, Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri, all right, he's a Republican, man is 39 years old. Um, he introduced a bill, okay, that would ban loot boxes and pay to win microtransactions as reported to Kotaku a couple of weeks ago, quote unquote, games played by minors. A broad label that the senator says will include both games designed for kids under 18 and games whose developers knowingly allow minor players to engage in microtransactions. Holly will introduce the bill to protecting the children from abusive games act. Well, that really has already happened. But again, I'm reading from this article from a few weeks ago to the U.S. Senate and press materials announcing the bill. Holly's team brought up the Activision game Candy Crush as an egregious example of pay to win microtransactions. Thanks to his $150 Lucius bundle that comes with a whole bunch of goodies. This bill will also likely apply to a host of online games that feature loot boxes and other ways in which players can spend money for real benefits. All right, so let's fast forward to current recordings of this video. Kotaku writer Jason Schreier, the infamous Jason Schreier, did a phone interview with Josh Hawley, you know, to get this all under wraps, to figure out what his goals are, what his aim is with this bill, and what his understanding is. And a lot was revealed in that interview. So to make sure we go over this in totality, I want to break this up into three parts. First, I want to talk about the phone interview and what it really exposed. Uh, secondly, I want to talk about what this whole bill is reminiscent of. You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, similar things in the past with legislation and gaming. And lastly, I just want to give you my thoughts. So in this phone interview, Senator Josh Hawley was asked, A, do you have a personal stake in this matter? And B, do your kids play games? To which Josh Holly, who is 39, answers, no, I'm not a gamer. <laughs> and no, his kids don't play games. So in retrospect, he has no personal insight that helped craft his beliefs in this bill. His lack of understanding of this in totality is further exposed when Jason asked him, why are you focusing on loot boxes? Microtransactions and loot boxes are not synonymous, you know what I'm saying? And loot boxes don't always require financial exposure. In response, the senator just brushes off and brushes right past that question and continue to erroneously equate loot boxes and microtransactions as the same. It's even labeled that way in this bill. Go ahead and check it out. It's available online. Now, personally, as a gamer and a parent, I find this all astounding, but like I said, I'll get into my opinions later. Now, what is this rep reminiscent of to your boy MM2K or to a lot of people that are watching this all, you know, go into effect? It's reminiscent of people like good old Representative Leland Yee of California, who was on this crusade to do something about quote unquote violent video games. You know what I'm saying? As being the destruction of the entire world and causing imps to fi fall from the sky and lava to shoot up from the, the earth beneath us. Remember how he was on that whole tirade and that whole campaign, particularly when Grand Theft Auto had that hot coffee, you know, hack that, you know, was gonna destroy all the babies and destroy the villages. And then come to find out later that Representative Yi was one of the biggest gun traffickers <laughs> on that side of the West Coast. And you know, your boy hates to get political here, but let's take it a bit further. You know what I'm saying? L let's go to another uh, uh, government figure that wanted to do bans and stuff like that. You had Larry Craig, you know, Mr. Wide Stance, the Mr. Uh, government figure of morality, but that was the guy that was caught in the stall, you know what I'm saying, trying to do the wide stand signal with an undercover cop for sexual activity within the men's bathroom. And no, 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 and I don't want y'all to believe that I'm picking on Josh Howley or Larry Craig because they're conservatives. Number one, Representative Leland Yee was a Democrat, okay? And secondly, your boy MM2K, I ain't got no political alliance to any political party to me that's silly that's a whole different podcast but i'm not going to get into that right now but just understand that this is coming from an a non-biased 
political point of view. Hell, I've even given props to Rush Limbaugh for when Representative Yee was all in his bag for him saying, you know, the governments need to keep their ignorant mindset out of gaming. I totally agreed with that when Rush said that. So let's get into it. What are my thoughts? Simply, I just don't like this. I mean, I don't mind mandating that any game with microtransactions, you know what I'm saying, that requires some type of financial risk, be mandated to a certain age that requires an ID to purchase. Like, before someone goes does a microtransaction on Fortnite, it should require you every single time for you to put in credit card information or whatever information to validate your age. But again, every single microtransaction is not necessarily a loot box and not every single loot box is requires money see i hate when the government gets involved because that's where this ignorance spools over into our hobby of, of fun and trust me i get it i'm a parent too as a parent and a gamer i'm gonna let you know right now my kids are on lockdown all right my kids don't have access to purchase anything on Xbox Live, PlayStation, that's all been locked down. When my son turned 18, I made him create his own account with his own information on all this stuff. You talking to somebody that worked for a Fortune 500 company, worked 12, 13 hours a, a day, did content creation, I stayed on top of my kids. Ain't no excuse. So at the end of the day, instead of sitting there trying to baby these parents, that want to complain later after they've given the, the kids the keys to the car, these parents instead should not be giving their kids access to even be able to get these microtransactions. It's not that complicated, people. But in all in all, I'm just going to keep it jiggy with you. Again, I have no political affiliation, so I can say this wholeheartedly. I just don't trust the government. I mean, look at what they do in general. Look at what they did with Ephedra, okay? Ephedra was supposed to be so horrible and so destructive to the human body and they didn't get rid of it. What did they do? They just made it pharmaceutical grade so they can tax it. Believe you me, once we allow the government to get their grubby hands on this, they're not going to get rid of microtransactions. They're not going to get rid of loot boxes. That's what they're phrasing it as, as for now. That's why this guy can erroneously equate loot boxes and microtransactions together without a blink of an eye because what they're going to do is they're going to further monetize this so it benefits the government the government never handles anything they just make it to where they can profit from it whether they're democrat republican independent don't matter so i don't trust the government so with all that being said all y'all that's celebrating this bill again this is another case of you cutting off your nose to spite your face because at the end of the day if you don't let reasonable people that have access to their own money and that have the right to do what they want to do with their own money indulge in these microtransactions or whatever when they want to then that money that these companies are going to lose are going to spill down to us and we're going to lose in the long run so i'm gonna tell y'all once again before y'all start start hopping out the window for different notions that y'all don't fully look into in depth Recognize, realize, and strategize, man, seriously. And that's it from your boy, MM2K. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. It's like I always tell you, you can come with me or come at me. But if you did like what I had to say, hey, yo, you can catch me on the corner of every boulevard. You know what I'm saying? Check the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples. Neethals, Dirt Griggity, Snow Bunny. It's called Scram Punks. We do it every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's on Dirt Griggity's YouTube channel. Check out the link below for Scram Punk shows to look that up or look up hashtag Scram Punks. We're everywhere, man. And last but not least, follow my brother in the broadband bullies. We are doing the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Check out that Patreon link. Check out that Discord link. We be chopping it up in there. And check out that link to that gear. It's fly. And as always, you have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day.